I'm not saying anything yet until we know we're recording. And yes, we are. Hello, um, welcome. Um, we are playing. My name's Gareth Bride in the Lost Island, and this is on the Xbox Hub channel. This is part two of the walkthrough for the first tree. Now, if you would have seen the first one, please have a look at it um, and like and subscribe, of course. Um, this is a brilliant, lovely little kind of story game about a fox, but also it's about um, this guy from Alaska's dream and his kind of life that uh, two worlds combined. It's, it's beautifully drawn, beautifully, and I really enjoyed it. Now, on the last one, I got stuck on something. And I think collecting these things, I think I know what to do. So, we're in this level here. This is where we left off from the last one. And for those who just maybe watching this for the first time, you come in, you you, you collect bits of story, it's, it's and you jump around. It's like a little platformer as well. Now what I'm doing, as you can see, the world is really lush and nice. So I think we're going to head over here. And... Well, these levels are quite huge. I do get lost a lot. Oh, here we go. We'll go down here. Oh, I've done this before, but we're going to go down here and do it again. Those of you who might know, so you'll get an idea. And I won't, I won't talk over the, the, the voice work. It's very nice. I might interact with it. Here we go. On our property, there were old abandoned pieces of a shed and car long left unused. I used to ask him all the time who those people were that left all this junk, and I'm sure he got so tired of hearing it that he made up some elaborate stories how a brown bear ate them and haunted the woods afterwards. What's funny is I think it made those people seem more real, growing up thinking they were still hanging out like they couldn't say goodbye. I used to tell my friends how I could swear I saw spirits move near the water, and that always freaked them out. I guess it didn't bother me, because the way I saw it, they were normal people with old cars and sheds, just trying to figure out how to survive and be happy in the middle of nowhere. It was a cool thought that they didn't want to leave, but you know, I was a weird kid. Well, you had good company since those ghosts like living in a place where they were brutally devoured. <laughs> so he's, he's talking to his wife. I think he's just woken up and he's had a dream about this fox. Um, so the two kind of lies to come out and the fox already is looking for her cubs she's lost one already <laughs> at the beginning of the story that was a very sad moment I think it's going to get sadder um, but we're looking for two more and we're doing all this stuff so in this level see this thing up here I've got to collect three of these I've got one already that's where we left off but I haven't got the other two I think I found them so we're going to go and have a little look here we go. Now I've worked out how to do this now, which is good because we could be here all day. So I just catch it. There we go. That's all I had to do. Catch it when it dropped. I was there for 20 minutes, I think. Uh, I wonder if Foxy can jump all this way. Yeah, Foxy's alright. Okay, so we got that one. I think go over here. This. That's a little tent. Collapsed tent. Okay, look at this. See, it looks lovely. So I think I need to go over here. Yeah. See, again, it's a lovely little world to kind of walk about in and a cup of tea. I was just playing stick type the other day. And I tried to record, but the sound went all odd. And I think that was just done by one person. I don't know if this is done by one person, but anyway, my gaming knowledge. There isn't any. I reckon you, if you haven't got this game, buy it at Christmas and play it on Christmas Day because I think it's. Apart from the death, it's really lovely. Um, I don't know where I'm heading, but I'm looking for another kind of light. So that's a, that tree there is, a, is the tree that I started the level. So I think I should go on this side.
Yeah. Oh, over here. It's so nice to just to walk about. Ah. Oh, electric guitar. Come on, Foxy. Play Foxy Lady. Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. It's a bad joke. Oh, I wonder if I can get these things here. That would be really good. Oh, that's not too good. Go on, yay! I think there's achievements for getting all these things. I'm not going to try to get them all, but I do like an achievement. Ah, there's a little light over there, so I think we head towards that area. Music's really good as well. We're reviewing this at the moment. I can't remember who's reviewing it out of the Xbox Hub team. But they better give it a high review. I won't be really, really. I'll be quite upset. Now, I think there's another one in this little area. Oh, can we get in there? Come on, Foxy. My dog is on the sofa now, just watching. Fox. Here we go. Oh, it's more things. Yay! Good. Done. I'm going around the corner, see if I missed anything. Hey, more of this. Ah, everything's all right with the world until something horrific happens again. But yeah, up here from the one is. Where's that thing gone? There you go. Down here. Yes. Yay, there it is. Okay, so this. Let's do this. So. Get on it. There we go. Time. Oh, achievement. The way forward. Activate all the obsidian rocks and yes, let's do that. Right, so we've done that. Well, now. We must go back to that tree. Anyone remember the way back? Oh yeah, I don't know who I'm talking to. There's no one here on Mixer. So if you if you watch this video and you you got an Xbox, um, join me on Mixer. Follow me because that would be really good. If you like this, if you hate me, I would say don't follow me. I would say. Ignore this. Let's pretend between us we've never had a conversation. Right, I'm stuck. Today, I'm. I might. I see how far we go. I'll do another half an hour, but I definitely will finish this. Through, finish this walkthrough off. Now, which way did I come? Let's get out. Oh, maybe I can get up here because it's telling me to go this way. Is it? No, I'm never going to get up there, am I? Maybe I will. That does look good. Let's see if we can get up here. No, no. Let's, let's forget, forget all this. Let's just get out. Let's go back this way. It's starting to feel hot. It's hot in here. I don't know who I'm asking again. There you go. That's the way. Out. Make a few anxious. Here we go. We're coming out now. We're coming out. Come on, Foxy. Let's find those cubs. Two more. I've got a feeling one of them... One of them definitely is... Uh, uh, maybe I'm wrong.
Okay, where now then? So we've done, we've got three things. Start here. That's good. Let's go over here. Oh. Set player. Go on top of this hill. I don't think there's anything down there. Oh, so, oh, good, good. Something else to dig up. More of these to find. I'd be quite ah. Now I need, do need to go back up. I need to go up there. I do need to go back. Uh, quite we were happiest underneath the evergreens. We decided it was time to finally map out the hundreds of acres we lived on, just to pass the time during the summer. He was only free in the evenings, so I would spend the day wasting time on dial-up internet and sketching, and then we would rush into the woods, pen and map in hand, before evening fell. Sometimes, the aurora borealis would cast a cold green glow on the mountainside, and we would finish our route underneath a twilight sky. Sometimes, I was lonely during those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, though. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get out, to leave your childhood home. You wanted to progress, to make something of yourself. Yeah, you're right. That house. I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. But then why does it feel so different? I doubt you're the only adult to have looked back and asked that question. That's true. We do, we always look back. There's been a big earthquake in Alaska at the moment, off subject, in the city. Here we go, here we go. Let's do. Oh. Oh, I've found another one of these. Okay. Why is that word? I've built a lot of stuff in this free time. If he wasn't watching fly fishing or reading Tom Clancy novels, he was carving something. He made tons of birdhouses. Not that he was into bird watching, but I think he really missed working and adding on to the home. If he couldn't afford the time to build onto our own house, he would have to settle with watching birds move into their little homes. We kept an old mattress in the bed of that ugly yellow truck, so we would drive it deep into the woods and then watch the birds fly into their houses while the sun set. Usually it was accompanied by venison jerky or cold coke, but not a lot of talking, which is how we both liked it. So we've got an achievement for collecting 50 of those things. It was good, so we've got some... But this relationship with his dad, that's strained... Well, not strained, it's strained and we regret some things. Um, I'll go back over here because there might be a way. Through. I think there is a way through now. I thought I might finish the game today, but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I'm still in this level. It's been 15 minutes. Okay, let's go over here. I oh, see that's come down. I think oh, the chains. To break down those chains. I'm gonna get one of these. Good. Oh, what are you looking? Foxy! Stop it. Let's go and get the other one over there. Some stuff in there. Sorry, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm a completist. I've gotta do it. That's it. There's a few in here, isn't there? There we go. Another one there. Let's go. Oh my, who's that? The perpetrator stood nearby, <gasps> unfazed. Like nothing was wrong. <gasps> my dad is dead. And he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell you these stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. 
He can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry. For everything. Oh, this is sad. Oh no. Another one. See, I, I did say, didn't I? So we've lost another one. Was it this? Was it this fellow, my lad? We've got one more to find. Okay. Sad, the story's sad. I think we're gonna be out of this level in a minute. not pretty. Back. Back. Good. This is a bit of a strange bit. Quite a long way to go. Sit back. I thought the level would end at that point when we kind of went off to the distance, but actually no, we're we're gonna we're doing it. That's good. I like that. Cub left to find. I don't, know, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope it ends up good. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Burn my Xbox. I'll protest. I don't recommend anyone burning their Xbox, by the way. Foxy's not going up. We've been on the road a while. Here we go. So that kind of levels done so if I wanted to I could when I come back I could go back I wouldn't have to do that whole level again which I found out to my mistake so let's have a go at this level Ooh, hello huh, that's pretty look at that look at that wow let's head towards the you can't go to sleep feeling like this. 
I'm sorry for everything, and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. You don't need to feel so lost. Joseph, have I ever told you what my mother was like? Hmm. You know what it's like not to have a mom at home. And you know how hard that made my childhood. What helped me was watching the birds in the morning before the school bus came. <laughs> I thought that my mother was one of those birds. And it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami cranes while she was in the hospital. So I told myself I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. I think we both have always loved animals. And for That's me, that love started with a dog. Sometimes this Rottweiler would come up to our property line and wait at the fence for me, but only once in a while. I was sure to check every day immediately after school, and it usually ended in disappointment. I would even steal money from my passed out dad just so I could buy these off-brand dog biscuits. Even when she did stop by, she never went beyond the fence. Why was she so scared? I think my dad was the opposite of your dad in almost every way, except he was in the military as well. He coped with alcohol of every kind. The trailer started falling apart, he got angry, and I withdrew. More and more I became the weird quiet kid who made lots of origami birds and carried dog biscuits around. I think we were pretty similar when it came to being the weird kids. And that same sincerity in college was one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Life got worse and worse. And at one point, I really didn't think I could survive another day with my soul still intact. I had no real friends, let alone neighbors, since we lived in the middle of nowhere. I should have talked to my teacher, but I was scared what he would do if he found out. As I waited for the school bus one morning, I walked around until I found something in an abandoned shed. Something I can't put into words. I summoned courage I didn't know I had, and I broke into my dad's room and found the key to the shed where he had locked my bike. I'll never forget that feeling. As the wind rushing by my ears as the sun rose over fields of wheat, I was flying for the first time. I biked as far as my legs could take me until I found a house that felt friendly and that felt like home. Those strangers helped me in so many ways. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found my foster family. And if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't have met you. You have strength, Joseph, and you're not as alone as you think. It's all just so pointless. Just oh, waiting for life to happen. It's like having the home I always wanted is cursed out of my reach. The thought of being a parent myself. How could I do that when I couldn't even be a good son? I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. I just don't know how things will work out. These quiet we have? hours will turn into years. We'll wonder which roads passed us by. Then we'll forge a new road together. Yes, Joseph. Besides, I discovered for myself that one fateful morning where any hopeful road leads to. There may be thorns in this, but oh it always leads to the same thing. And what's that? This. Family. Oh God. I'm so glad that you're part of my family, Rachel. And I'm glad you're part of mine. Oh, that's good. This nice, it's well, a nice little area. That was a massive story then. I really like that. Fox thinking, what the hell's going on? Oh dears. Ah, a lot to take in on this game. I think we're getting up here. Maybe we'll get to the end of this level. 
see where we are. Maybe we'll stop there and do the last bit tomorrow. Look at this, I love this. Seventy of those. Long journey now, uphill. Brace yourself. Listen to the music, watch the sun. Have some more tea. Jump in, show my skills off, which are which are plentiful. Good. It's a bit floaty this fox, isn't it? It doesn't matter. Still going on. Amount of journey as well. Oh, here we go. That's good. Right. Do we stop there? I think we'll stop there for now because 27 minutes, around the 30 minutes, and then we'll do part three tomorrow. But there you go. That's it. Okay, we'll stop it there. Uh, we'll stop it there. So thank you again. Um, remember Lost Island, uh, you see my mixer, uh, or GB Brody on Twitter, or Xbox Hub. Subscribe, like the channel if you like this, and part three will be tomorrow. I promise. Maybe that might be the last bit. But it's a brilliant game. It's a brilliant, brilliant game. Loving this game. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Right. See you later on. Bye-bye.